What's up, YouTube? Uh, today's goal is to get these motor mounts out of the car, these brackets here, put these new ones in, and uh, hopefully by the end of the day, I'm gonna run to the shop and work for a while too, but um, hopefully I'm gonna try and get this transmission down there, torque converter over there, um, get all of those mated up to this block and ideally get this prepped and ready to install hopefully tomorrow morning. Um, maybe I'll do that later today, but we'll find out. Well, the scrapyard motor mounts worked fine. Uh, three of the four bolts lined up. This bottom one right here and this bottom one right here. Um, they were about, uh, I'd say the five sixteenths off on the bolt location from the mounts out of the cyclone to the cross member. Um, Luckily, they didn't really even land in the hole. Maybe like a sliver, a sixteenth of an inch of the bolt hole was exposed. So I just drilled a five sixteenth hole and then hit it with a three eighths bit to clearance it. Um, so now I got bolt in V eight motor mounts. I got new rubbers sitting over there that I'm uh, I got to look at and figure out if it's got to go in the block first or if I should drop them onto the pad here. Um, haven't decided yet, but one step closer to dropping this in. Hopefully, I can have the motor and trans and drivetrain in. Um, I'm probably going to pull the cross member out just to give myself a little bit more clearance and uh, figure out where those need to go. I don't know where the AOD trains is going to land on there since that never came in this car. I'm hoping it's kind of like the van. Um, I actually haven't even looked underneath uh, on the bolts for the cross member yet. Um, on the van, I was able to just move it back to the other two bolt holes and didn't have to change anything else. Uh, I found the drive shaft banging around in the car in the side of the garage when I started emptying some parts out. And most of the other stuff I got is in the trunk. So just a matter of getting the motor and trans together today before we go to work. Well, yesterday I was working on putting the motor and the trans together. Had it on the cherry picker. Got a video of most of that stuff going in together. Um, lining everything up, making sure it sits proper. Now the motor's back on the engine stand. Um, in the course of trying to wrestle around and get the trans and the motor in, I don't have it on film, otherwise I'd post it. I was going back and forth if I wanted to, or if I was just gonna edit this out and pretend that it didn't happen. But if you're building cars in your driveway, things happen. Sometimes things good, sometimes bad things. Yesterday was a really good day up until bad day. Um, I was wrestling the motor and the trans on the cherry picker working by myself instead of calling a buddy to come by and just give me a hand trying to get everything lined up. Um, I had the trans sitting on the dolly like that, the motor hanging from the cherry picker, got it mostly on, and then um, the torque converter shifted a little, so I had to pull the trans back off, and in the course of re-separating, um, like I said, I don't have this on film, in the course of re-separating, the trans slid off of the block of wood down there that I was using to hold it up and it fell on its left hand side and caught the bell housing uh, landed just the right way and I cracked the bell housing on the trans big old setback um, really puts a damper on the uh, so here's the section that broke it dropped and caught this edge right here when it landed um, and basically just grenaded the cast aluminum housing so uh, I'm gonna power wash this thing down and luckily um, I got a welder fab guy at the shop. Um, a good buddy of mine, he's gonna send him a couple pictures. Told me I was an idiot for trying to do things myself all the time, which is accurate, but uh, offered to give me a hand trying to get this re-welded up. I don't know how long that's gonna take because he's gonna be traveling. So um, I'm gonna get this trans over there. And then I was also able to pick up a uh, so I went on the Facebook Marketplace, found a pretty good deal on a complete motor and trans. Since I definitely need more motors, I already have these to work on and go through at some point. But um, motor and trans combo with the AOD. So I, I really want to run the AOD on this just because I want the um, overdrive and throw some bigger gears in. But I'm going to go pick up a new motor and trans today, later on this afternoon, and that'll give him plenty of time to work on this when he has time instead of trying to rush him on it. Um, the nice thing about the new one, it's an 89 Mustang drivetrain that I'm getting. Uh, motor and trans are all still together, so I might end up actually just doing a quick drop that in this motor, or drop that in the Falcon, so 
I can figure out what's gonna fit, um, or I'm gonna separate the block and trans and re-bolt the trans onto this block. I haven't decided yet, but everybody makes mistakes at one point or another. And like I said, some are worse than others. This one was pretty bad. Um, on a lot of the Harleys, I've rewelded cases and things like that. This one's a little bit more tedious than anything I wanna get into. I can do some of the case welding and case repair, but bigger jobs I always send to him. He does really good work. Um, if he wants to be part of it, we will get that on camera, him fixing this for me. Um, if he doesn't, then that will stay off camera. But uh, quick update, we'll catch you guys later.